Hey world, it's the Hacker Triple O Seven, and today I want to show you some Windows Seven tricks. Okay, so right after that, I'm going to start show you a a um, Windows like magnifying trick. So you're gonna hold the Windows button on your keyboard and the plus. Doing this will name enable a magnifier. This will let you look closer at your window. This is pretty good for a uh, presentations and or YouTube videos if you want to show something in particular up close of what you're doing. You know, there you go. Has more settings by the way, so you can go to view and go to lens. So it's almost like a magnifying glass. So you just go over your computer. And last one's docked. It just gets a little like bar at the top and it just shows what you're doing up close. And then to get rid of it, you just click on the exit button, and you're all done. The next one is uh, the Windows tab. It's Windows button and tab. Doing this will create a 3D scrolling. So you just tap the Windows button, and it keeps going across and across, and then you select which one you want to end at. So the wall, the plain wallpaper is your home screen. This is my computer, so I'll go here, and I'm on my computer. The next one is uh, a arrow shake. So what that is is you just grab your window and you shake it and minimizes everything in the background. Grab it again and shake it and everything pops up again. So that's pretty simple. Another way to uh, sc um, scroll between different um, programs is Alt and Tab. This creates a little box in the middle and then show again all of the programs that are open. Okay the next one is a uh, simple little fade effect. It's kind of useless but I don't know why Windows created this but anyway you hold shift and then you click. So I click close so I'll click close here and as you see it'll fade away very slowly. And then for minimize Minimize and it'll slowly go in. Like, right. oh, so then you again you click it and it slowly goes in. And then when you let go, it'll completely just go away. The next little trick is how uh, custom branding your own computer, like naming it your own. So here's a little preview of it. Um, as you see my computer, the manufacturer is the Hacker 007. The model is the Hacker 007 Beta version 1 3296. And my rating is 7.9, which it is not. So again, that is just a little tweak, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you need to download a program called Windbubble. Bubbles, sorry. Now the pro once you download it, open the program up. The program does take a second to load. It is a slow loading program. My computer is fairly fast and it does take some time to load. So and it is very simple to do. You just name you just fill in the boxes, hit apply, and there you go. So right here. You can customize your own. So you name the manufacturer, the model, the website, the support, the phone, the whatever. What you can also do is you can add your own um, picture. So if you have a picture like that, you can then, so once you're done editing, they will light up. And then what you do is you hit apply. It will always, most of the time for me, it always says there. always works anyway, so it doesn't matter. And it should work. And it didn't work. So make sure you have the right size of picture. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Again, I'm not exactly sure. Now another little quick quick before I go here is uh if you didn't notice my rating is
It's going to say that this is for educational purposes only. Just don't even read it. Just click it. And then click OK. So now, this is quickly, and here we go. So now, it's just going to, you can change all of them, or you can just change one of them. It's all your choice. Just click one, do one of them. And then it opens it up for you to show you the results. That is about it. Um, I will. Uh, that, that's, I'll post a link for the wind bubbles to download. Anyway, uh, it is 12:35 in the morning, so I will. I need to get going to bed. So anyway, this is the uh, hacker triple O seven, and I am signing off.